Hello there, welcome back to the Advent Alphabet of Self Care. And today we've reached W. And W is that word I keep using, which is welcome. And this just really stood out to me when I was thinking about what words would start with W. And what I wanted to talk about is partly inspired by um, when I did the tolerance video and I talked about the Dalai Lama saying that if we want to learn tolerance, our enemies are our greatest teacher. And I think this is the thing. I mean, we can talk about welcome in terms of welcoming guests and welcoming experiences, but I think often when we experience things that perhaps feel unwelcome, it's very difficult to want them in our lives. And this can be everything from people that we don't particularly like to perhaps losing people that we really love. And those sort of really difficult experiences are things that we tend not to welcome. But I think it's an important part of self-care is to be able to recognise both our feelings about the suffering that we experience, either at the hands of people or at loss or any other of the situations that we encounter that really we would feel are unwelcome. And we can take a different attitude to them. And we could take an attitude perhaps of what can I learn from this situation? Or in what way can I exercise my own autonomy in the way that I respond to this situation or this person or this set of circumstances? And it really struck me today. Um, it, we very rarely do welcome difficult experiences, but perhaps if we were able to recognise that this is part of life, um, we might perhaps resist them less and see what else we could learn from them. I always remember when I was um, training to be a counsellor, um, one of the tutors said, and I, you know, occasionally you'll get things that people say that you really do remember. And she was just advising us to always ask ourselves the question, why? So when we're faced with a reaction of some sort, where we've reacted to something, um, that we ask ourselves, why? Why am I reacting to this in this way? And that every um, thing that happens to us is an opportunity to learn more about ourselves. And I think this can be true as well of whatever circumstances or situations come into our lives. And I think from a self-care perspective, we may not feel that we want to welcome a situation. In fact, why should we? But in another way, every situation that's in our life, in a sense, we can welcome for the learning opportunity that it gives us, the opportunity to grow. And perhaps even to think, you know, why now? Why has this happened to me now? And perhaps find meaning in that, um, possibly depending on what your belief system is. And so that's just a few thoughts because often what can happen is we tend to resist the things that we don't find welcome. And there's a, there's a saying that says, what we resist persists. And sometimes it's really interesting to look at our resistance and to wonder what that's about. And sometimes if we're with maybe someone at Christmas who perhaps we don't find easy to be with, we might resist them by perhaps moving away from them. But it might be interesting to sit with that sense of resistance and see why it's there and to see if there's a possibility of being able to overcome it, perhaps by exercising some tolerance and understanding, as I spoke about in my previous videos. So perhaps as we approach Christmas, you might like to think about in what way can I welcome my circumstances? In what way can I learn from them? And perhaps in what way can I welcome strangers? which is one of the great Christmas themes, isn't it? But yeah, think about welcome and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.